And as we officially start our professional card of the evening, our first bout is coming in at the super middleweight limit. We have Matthew Hartford versus James Langridge. It's to be fought over four three-minute rounds. Our first official professional bout of the night. Unfinished business two. Adam Lovelock here with Mark Gattaletta and Billy Limov calling the fights live from the Redford Leagues Club. If anybody knows these two boys, they know we're in for something tonight. Don't they train at the same gym now? They do, but we're still in for something tonight. <laughs> um, so who's called us Damien you got to go in then? That's a, that's a tricky one. Well, the good thing is about Deception Bay Boxing is we have two Damien's. Ah, so Damien Smith will go in his favourite fighter's corner. I fought both of these boys. Yeah, you know them both very well, wouldn't you, Mark? I do. It's good to see Matt fight someone taller than him again for once. Now he knows what I feel. Oh, we got Phil Austin as the ref. My favourite ref, by, by the way. So we've got both, both big D Bay boys up for a rematch on the 28th at Eden Hill, with Matt rematching with Declan Kelly for the Queensland title. I fought Declan as well. You did? I beat Declan. He'll never get a rematch from me. <laughs> yeah. Because I won. that old timer over there enjoying himself swinging some punches <laughs> that's what it's all about This is not an exhibition, it's a real fight between two teammates. This is going to be amazing. on these boys they train hard okay our official first professional bout of the evening in the super middleweight division we have Matthew Damage Hartman versus James Langridge both previous opponents of each other before they have fought once earlier for the Queensland middleweight title with Matt Hartman getting the decision Hartman v Langridge, the rematch is here. If I've seen a tough boxer, I'll tell you it's James Langridge. Absolutely, been in with absolutely everyone. Not scared of any challenge. Both boys fighting each other before over eight rounds, so they should know each other well. So see how they both come back now. Nice combination there by Hartman to start the round off. Trying to assert that dominance. Language is a clear, taller fighter with bigger reach. We'll see if Hartman can nullify that and take that off him by getting in and closing the gap. Having a bit of success doing it over the first minute of the third fight. 
nice little right rip to the body there by Hartman. You can tell these boys have fought before because they're straight into it. There's only four rounds, so they, they've got to get in there quick. You can see now we're in with the professionals. There's a, a lot more criteria to the scoring there. So if a lot of these shots aren't getting through, you can see the judges may score them based on aggression. Oh, great right uppercut there by Langridge landing up the middle. I'd say that's Jimmy's favourite punch, that, that right uppercut. He's improved out of sight. You can see in the professional ranks when some, when a round is extremely close, it might be just that one punch or something that may be enough to turn that round and, and steal the round at the end of it. Or other factors will come into it like the aggression and, and different aspects like that where in the amateurs it's more of just a scoring type system where the professionals, a lot more of a criteria comes into it. Nice jab there by Langridge as well. Nice right hand to the body there by Hartman. Work rate in the round has definitely been by Matt Hartman. Great combination punching. Throwing some big shots up top. Just missing the missing James Langridge there, that first one. See if he can slowly get his eye in and find a home for that. He's landing that uppercut. Another two uppercuts in the middle there. Oh, nice combination work there by Matt Hartman. Great first round there. I don't know, but I think James might have just got that. Yeah, as we were saying, it might be those clear, precise shots could be enough to kind of steal that round. He landed, look at that. A couple, a couple uppercuts landed. Good on him. If I'm correct, Mark, it's... You and Andrew Hunt are the only two men to stop James Langridge. <laughs> oh, good body Thank work you. there, the replay. Yeah, I, st I stopped James a couple of years ago, but it was a lucky hit. Very tough customer, James Langridge. So He's if you ever tough. stop him, you're achievement. Well, let's see. So the, I'd say, yeah, the clear scoring shots in that round came from Langridge, but then the work rate. And the dominance and aggression came from Hartman. So again, what are the judges looking for and see how they determine that scoring of that round? Well, I'm going for James because Matt beat me. Round number two underway. Let's see how we go. You can see when James relaxes, he's very, very comfortable in that ring. Yeah, he is. He's a quite a good counter puncher on the back foot as you said Billy he likes to throw that long right uppercut in you can see when he's he's got such a good reach when he relaxes and tends to throw it so being a previous opponent of Hartman you'd think that he's going to relax a lot faster so this we may see the best James Langridge we've ever seen tonight I believe so Adam I believe so a nice jab to the body there but it's whether now that pressure from Hartman can nullify that Nice lead hook there. He looks so relaxed, Hartman, when he's throwing these punches, doesn't he? He does. He's so comfortable in there. I don't know if you've been on the There's another, one another two uppercuts getting through the middle. I think what James Langridge is going to have to do, he's going to have to really nice. sit on his punches like that. That combination there was a, the best he's thrown so far. He's no point landing these little shots if there's nothing behind them. He's going to have to sit on them and actually get some power in there. That's it. Let's mix it up a little bit, get it rough. Let's 
where Matt Hartman's at his best when you're just sitting on the ropes. Don't want to be there. James needs to flip him around and get back to the middle like that. Now push him off and stay at his range. When you're the taller fighter and the bigger fighter, you don't want to just be sitting on the ropes taking shots. Good round here, round two. Nice and even round. Both boys have well and truly done that feeling out process and they're actually in there now trying to score. Nice little right hook over the top there by Hartman. You see James Langridge starting to, looks like he's slowly tiring. That's definitely throwing more punches this round. Nice footwork there by Hartman. Round number two coming to a close. Halfway mark of our opening professional bout. The World Tour round is not have time for anything. Two rounds gone, I could say this could be still anyone's fight. We could have one round each, depending on how the judges have scored it. But still anyone's in this game. Round number three underway. See Mark Hartman looking fresh and focused, straight out of the ring, wanting to attack. Is this where, where he takes off and takes over in this fight? Is Langridge gassing? A nice lead hook there. Just missing. Cutting off the ring well, just keeping language on the ropes. Langridge is going to cut a big right hand if he doesn't keep his hands up. Yeah, he's, he's on the back foot a lot, James Langridge, and without doing anything to keep Matt off, he's kind of just throwing that little range finder, which, but just not throwing that big shot afterwards. It's just where Hartman can just walk it down and then kind of free to do what he wants and at the moment Hartman's just just missing and hasn't really found his iron of those big shots yet but over the next round or so that'll come in and, and I think you're right Mark I think he will land a big shot as Langridge tires so there we go he's starting to find some more success there he's starting to drop his hands nice body work there that's got beautiful technique too yeah, you can see Matt's got his eye in now he's He's landing a few shots, stand, just stepping that half a step back and missing a shot, and then countering and landing again. Starting to look really good now, Matt Hartman. Great move for Matt coming along and training with Damien at Deception Bay Boxing. He's come Oops. a long way. Oh, wore another uppercut in the middle there. Body shots from Matt Hartman, beautiful. Another uppercut. You see that's that one shot that he's having success with. And a great round. How fit is Matt Hartman? Non-stop. I don't know if you boys witnessed their eight-rounder for the Queensland title a couple of years ago, but it was a 
it was a fight to watch, I'll tell you that. And we're seeing it again. Was that when he fought Brett Moore? Oh, beautiful combination punch by Hartman. Body to the head. Good work, good round. Matt Hartman must have heard me in the last exhibition bout saying that Mad Dog is the only one throwing the rip to the uppercut. <laughs> Hartman's just landed it three times in a row. Fourth and final round coming up here as we see the replay. Look at the focus in Matt Hartman's eyes. Bang, there's that body shot. Him looking out of getting his head out of the line. Oh, where's the little shot there himself? Seconds down. of this bout. Oh, a nice jab there by Langridge. Landing that. Another one as well. Land, the jab's landed but didn't do a lot. Harper's still pushing forward. Still having his way in this bout. Oh, nice combination work there by Matthew Harbin. You can see he's really controlling what happens here. You can tell that's the experience of a fighter when he's dictating what happens. Those little shots, three little shots, one big one. Matt's fighting with his mouth open. I'll remember that if I ever fight him again. <laughs> The work rate from Matt Hartman has been exceptional tonight. He hasn't stopped punching for four rounds. They haven't been the hardest shots, but he's been punching at an extremely high work rate. He's, he's clearly up on the scorecards now, I would, I would think. So I'd like to see him now try and just He's punching, he's got a really high output in his punch rate right now, but to really load up a couple of shots now, see if he can put Langridge away. And we all know how tough James, Lang James Langridge is, but I'd like to see Matt now try and do a few lowers and load up a big body shot, see what he can do. But he's really showing off his skill base now. combination straight to the center ring you can see another one of the other reasons that it's making James Langridge so tired is because he's been running around the ring all night just from Hartman holding that center position just been turning while James has had to circle that whole outside of the ring it's a good tactic very experienced move final 10 second bell of the of the fight Both boys trading right to the bell. And there we have it. Fourth round in the books. Great fight by both boys in the rematch. <laughs> James just punched man in the chin. In the chin. We're going to go to the scorecards for the first time in the professional ranks tonight. Following this bout, we're really in for a treat. We're going to see something special here then. 
Young Ethan Law will be our main event. Currently three wins, no losses, two by knockout, fighting for the Australasian middleweight title. He is an exceptional talent. Ethan the Stallion Law, they call him. Very sharp fighter, Law family, celebrities in this area of the town. We're going to be in for a huge main event. Fans might have seen Japs 4X fight on the last Ace Boxing show. We fought Abdul Mayweather, a huge talent, exceptionally hard fight. Dropped him in the final round, so I don't. So Ethan Law is not in, but there's no easy night in the office tonight. He's going to have his work cut out for him. Right, Forex has, has never been stopped. I've trained with Ethan since he was a kid. Known him a long time. He's amazing. I think he's going to stop him in the second round to the body. Let's see how it plays out. You know, you know how he learned that? Liam Wilson hit him in the body. Oh, here we go to the scorecards now. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gone to the scorecards. Judge John Watson scores about 36, 40. Judge Adam Hyde scores about 36, 40. And Judge Roy Saunders scores about 36, 40. For a unanimous decision to the red corner, Matt Dorey! There you have it. Matt Hartman winning by unanimous decision, 40 points to six to 36 on all three judges' scorecards, giving him a four-round shutout bout. Great work, both boys.